If you ask me, this is a true sign of the times. Now when I have to look up how to do something, whether it's maintenance or assembly instructions or how to use something, I don't even look at the information included in the package of the thing that I bought. I just go online and try to watch a video because I'd rather see a human being doing it than read a book or a pamphlet or something. And even though so many products come with detailed instructions, like these come with fabric care labels and an insert card, and we have lots of information on our website, people are always asking us for a video on how to clean and care for their microfiber cloth. So whether you have ours or if you have other really good quality microfiber cloths, what I wanted to do in this video was put together a care and maintenance video for you detailing exactly how to clean and maintain your cloths because if you take good care of them, they can last you for up to 500 washes. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I am going to be announcing a big makersclean.com sale. So you're definitely gonna wanna hear about that. And also, we have new product up there. So I'm gonna tell you about that one as well. When you're finished using your cloth, make sure that you rinse it well. There are a few good reasons to do this. First, you don't want anything too greasy or grimy to set into the cloth. You don't want any stains to set into the cloth, so anything that has a color to it that could potentially stain the cloth. Also, any debris, you wanna get rid of that, you know, hair, dust, things that you've picked up along the way during your cleaning. And finally, you wanna get rid of any cleaning product that you have in the cloth. So take it to your sink, give it a good rinse, and wring it out. Well, we are very liberal and open-minded here at Clean My Space. We are going to ask you to be very specific about categorizing your microfiber cloths when it comes to laundering. You wanna launder these guys by themselves. You do not want them to mix in with the other laundry general population of your home. Sometimes when I say this, it ticks people off because they say, oh, you know, I only have a few cloths that I need to wash and what's the big deal? Well, it is a big deal because microfiber is designed to pick up everything. So if you put cotton or polyester or other things in with that load, your microfiber cloths are going to come out picking up lint and all the other stuff from everything else that came out in that wash. So if you have your rinsed cloths and then you launder those, they're gonna come out clean so that you can use them again without having to pick things out of them with a pair of tweezers. You don't have time for that. When it comes to machine washing your microfiber cloths, there are a couple of things I want to tell you because I've been asked this many, many times. I use just a simple, gentle detergent. What that looks like for me is something that's scent-free and dye-free. I just use Thai Free and Gentle. I think that's what it's called. You'll see it on the screen. And it doesn't have any bleach, it doesn't have any fabric softener, and I don't add any of that to my wash. Occasionally, I'll throw some vinegar into the fabric softener compartment, that's totally legal, but you don't wanna cross the line and use any other products with microfiber. Bleach can ruin the fabric, and fabric softener will clog up those fibers. Now, the second thing to keep in mind is the wash temperature. Typically, I wash my cloths in cold water. That gets everything out, it gets them nice and clean, plus it's a really good energy saver. Now you can wash them in warm water, that's totally safe, and you can even wash them in hot water if they're really stained or if you're very concerned about something that you were cleaning that you want to really make sure that you got rid of. You can use hot water. It won't ruin the cloth, but you want to just be careful when it comes to the use of heat, and I'll cover that off in a second. Hot water's fine, just it's expensive and it's really not necessary. Drying your cloths is a whole other bonanza, so let's talk about that. When they come out of the wash, you have a couple of options. Of course, you could hang them to dry. That's the most economical way to do it. We do that a lot of the time, and if you wanna get your cloth a little bit fluffy again, you can just sort of rub it together. But the thing to keep in mind is that these cloths have an electrostatic charge. That is exciting because it picks up dust, and if you put it in the dryer, that charge kind of gets regenerated. So it's a good thing to have it in the dryer. And because of that, you don't want to use any dryer balls or fabric softener or fabric sheets or anything like that with this. You actually want them to have static cling. That's what's so great about dusting and cleaning with these. So that's part one. Part number two has to do with the temperature of the dryer. Now, a lot of people think you put it in the dryer, it comes out nice and warm and toasty and you wanna cuddle with it. That is not what you wanna do with microfiber. Microfiber is made out of a blend of polyester and polyamide. Now polyester, that can melt in heat. So the heat that your dryer generates, that can actually melt and ruin your cloth. 
don't do it. You just want to use a tumble dry cycle. That's it. Low heat, no heat. I just tumble dry them. They come out. They look nice and fluffy like a cuddly teddy bear and I don't ever have anything to worry about. Now the final part to all of this is that lint trap. If you don't clean it out on the regular, this is going to make you want to clean it out. If your lint trap is full, it cannot effectively remove lint from your cycle. Now if there's lint flipping around, this is lint flipping around in your dryer cycle and your lint trap is full, your microfiber cloths, they're designed to pick up lint. So they're gonna come out looking disgusting. So make sure that before you put them in the dryer, you clean out that lint trap. If you don't have a washer and a dryer and you just want to hand wash your microfiber cloths, that's totally fine too. You can wash them the same way that you would wash any delicates that you have, like lingerie for example. You just don't need the fancy bag. So you can fill a sink or fill a basin with some warm water, add a little bit of gentle detergent. You can hand wash them, rubbing them together, rinse them out really, really well so that you don't see any soapy residue left behind, and then you can just hang them to dry. Many of you have requested that blue waffle weave towel back. So we listened, we spent the dough, and we did it. So here it is. We're calling this beautiful color Glacier. Took us a while to come up with that name, but we're going with it and we like it. So it is back. It's the exact same as our gray cloth, nice and big, amazing for drying, for drying your hair, for putting in your sports bag, drying your kids off, cleaning your dog's paws, and a million uses in between. I love these cloths. You guys love these cloths. These are actually our most popular cloths, the waffle weave towels. So you can now get them in gray, this is called slate, and blue, this is called glacier. Other names were wave, topaz, denim, but we thought Glacier was really the best, so I hope you agree. Now, about that sale I was telling you about at makersclean.com, we are offering 25% off all Waffle Weave products. Now, you don't need a code. You can just go to the website. It'll automatically be applied to your cart at checkout, and you can enjoy that sale. Now, this week's common question, this is a good one. We do a lot of innovation here at makersclean.com. Yes, we do. And we are bringing on some new products. We have a new one coming this summer, not a new color, like legit, a new product. But we'd love to know in the comments down below, what other microfiber products would you like to see us come up with? Let us know because we're happy to investigate. Here's someone else that's very happy. It's not all about the baby right now. And here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. If you want to learn more about makersclean.com, you can click this button right here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.